you haven't noticed yet, this is a mainly based sports channel. One which I do mainly mountain biking, but also a lot of crossfit, paintball, karting, wakeboarding and many other sports. So since I'm a university student already on the third year, I'm here to bring you what's my workout routine during the week so I can stay fit to do these activities and still finish a course on university. This is the schedule that fits this semester, but past semesters it had to be completely different schedules. Now, for this semester what I do is Mondays are always a rest day. Why? Because I've been biking the whole weekend and I need to rest between bikes and going to the gym again. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday are no doubt gym sesh days. Then Fridays, it really depends. If I have too much work, it's rest day. If I don't have work to do for university, it's either a gym sesh or I actually go biking sometimes. Then Saturday does depend again on if I have work or not. If I don't have work, I go for a bike ride. If I do have work, I don't go for any bike ride. But Sunday, Sunday is always a must for a bike ride. It always happens, even when I have work, just a little morning, it happens. Just to clear things out of the way, at the moment I do not take any kind of supplement or even protein or any kinds of pre-workout. I do everything naturally. Is it good? Is it not? I don't know. I do it my way. You might do it your way. So the way I fuel my energies for the day are always the same. My breakfast is my fuel for the day and it always happens. Super simple. On a pan put one scoop of peanut butter one banana or any fruit you might like, oats, as many as you like, and almond milk. Mix it all together and that's the fuel for my day. Today is Tuesday and we are about to start up with a super strong quad. It was called a Strict Cindy Triple X. Just by the name it seems horrifying. And this thing is made by strict pull-ups, push-ups and air squats. It seems simple but on a time cap of 20 minutes, you have to do the most out of it. And on this case, I ended up the odd with 100 pull-ups, 192 push-ups and 210 squats. Getting home, I realized I was really late for class, so I really had to improvise a super quick lunch. This is a super easy thing for you to do. It has protein, it has carbs. It fills up your stomach, it's what matters. It's spaghetti, tuna, canned tuna or fresh tuna, whatever you have at home, tomato sauce, pepper, and put anything you might like on it for spices. Mix it all together, eat it fast, it's what you got. It doesn't have much of a nutritional value, but uh, I'm already super late for class. It tastes good, fills my energies, let's go! On Wednesday, we decided to take a little easy on us because we were completely broken from the strict Cindy of Tuesday, so let's take this on a little more easy. Uh, we start up with a warm-up, which is 3 rounds, 15 kettlebell swings, 15 sit-ups, 20 calories on the raw erg and 10 ground to overhead with a 10 kilograms plate. Getting on to the build-up, we did a 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1, 1 of clean, which is taking the bar all the way from the ground to your shoulders. I actually baked my PR this day. I was about to do 
two rounds of 85, I end up only being able to do one round of 85 kilograms, but that's all right. I already made my personal record, which is good. Now, the actual watch for today was a five rounds of 10 cleans with 50 kilograms, 12 abs on this super crazy machine and 200 meters on the raw ergometer. The meal today was, again, super easy to prep. You fry the chicken separately, with whatever seasoning you want, rice separately with whatever seasoning you want, and then pick up two of those things, put it all together on a pan with two eggs and some soy sauce to just mix everything together, give it a good stir, and there you have your dinner. Beef, pork, turkey, chicken, the best gains after a workout. Let's feast. Thursday is our last gym sesh of the week and today's workout consisted on a warm-up with two rounds of 20 calories on the row erg, 10 sit-ups and 10 dynamic push-ups. Oh, yeah. Now on to the build-up, we have 5 rounds, 10 bench presses with 45 kilograms, 12 bent rows, 12 bicep curls, and 12 lateral two forward raises. That's our build up. Now, to end up, if that's not even enough, you know, we're CrossFit guys, we need to have that good cardio at the end. I had an odd with three rounds for time of 400 meters of the raw erg, 21 sit-ups and 10 push-ups, just to finish up in a good way. Since we're on the beginning of the semester, we actually had this Friday free, which was amazing because we could pick up our bikes and call some friends to go for a dirt jump sash. Now, we stayed there for one hour and 20 minutes. We did three 79 kilometers. It was all around and around and around and ended up spending like 339 calories. It was good, amazing afternoon. On Saturday, I ended up not recording anything, but here are the stats. We went for a bike ride, two hours of moving time, 20.69 kilometers and 666 calories. Yeah, it was a good rolling ride, nothing too much, nothing too fancy. It was just a ride with the boys. Now, on Sunday, this is the ride that always happens. We go on the morning, do whatever trail we want, the boys group up, this is always super fun, a lot harder than the rides we do on Saturday and sometimes Friday. This time the stats aren't up there, 2 hours and 33, less kilometers than Saturday because we did only 14.46 but a lot more calories, 812, which meant the ride was a lot harder than the Saturday's one.
that's it. That's my workout routine as a university student. This is mainly focused on biking and stuff because that's my main sport. So if you do some other kind of sport and have some other kind of schedule, you might turn these things upside down. But that's how I do it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys felt motivated to go train and to go ride your bikes and do crossfit and do all kinds of exercise. If you have a different kind of workout, leave it down below on the comments and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>